Hey guys, what's going on? I am off to do a solo winter camp. I think that's the first time I've gone out on my own in December. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a snowstorm. Right now it's just raining, which would be, if this was a little bit colder, this would be an amazing day to do a uh, solo camp. So we're headed up to Huntsville and uh, there's only like maybe two or three that I know of provincial parks that are open year round and uh, only certain parts of the park are open year round and uh, so this is my first time and I know Arrowhead is one of them and I think somewhere in I can't remember the I think Mew, Mew Lake or something like that in Algonquin Park they have they're open year-round and I think there's something maybe in southern Ontario uh, closer to the United States that kind of direction possibly uh, those are the only ones that I think I know I definitely know this one's open because I made sure before I obviously packed up and headed north but uh, yeah I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna be doing a cookout you guys will be seeing this video before you see the actual um, solo camp. It's just the way it goes. I need to shoot a vlog for you guys. Got to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, got up this morning really early and finished editing the um, Harvey's poutine video with Paul. Uh, and then I have to edit the Popeye's video. And then I had to edit a vlog put that up for Monday but I know so for Tuesday oh my gosh it's just like when I when I do a whole bunch of videos really close together shoot them all I get a little confused as to when they're supposed to go up and which one goes where and op often I'm right in the middle of shooting another video when I decide to do a vlog like right now and then that piece of footage I have to find it in amongst all the other footage to make sure it goes in the right spot and of course, this is gonna go out way before you guys see this solo uh, camp video. But uh, I won't tell you too much about it that way. It's a little bit more of a secret. And uh, I don't wanna tell you too much, right? But I'm, uh, I keep, Carol and I work together really well. I, I shoot my videos. I, I spend a lot of time editing my videos. And Carol looks after a lot of other stuff behind the scenes for me um, you know she, she makes sure that my next adventure all the all our ducks are in a row um, like she helped me a lot this morning while I was editing she made sure I got some of the food items prepared and made sure I had all the things I needed to get this video done today um, what did she do uh, she was looking ahead for me for something oh yeah so she had to like Again, I don't want to tell you too much about it, but um, she just prepped a lot of things for me and made sure. And then she looks through the van for me and, and reminds me of things that I might need or might have forgotten. Uh, like she told me to grab my boot spikes just then go for a, a hike and the hit trail's icy. One thing I learned about my boots, boot spikes, again, they're, they're called micro spikes. And you can buy really cheap ones and you can buy really expensive ones. I really recommend the $80 Canadian ones. Uh, I've had, this is, uh, I've only bought one pair and I've used them ever since. I've bought a pair for uh, the kids and Carol for when we go on hikes together at Scanlon Creek or at 99 Steps because they really, really help you from slipping. The only problem is, the only warning I would give anybody if there's like this much snow and then there's ice, perfect. But if there's like this much snow, what happens is your foot compresses the snow on top of the ice and you can still slip. So the spikes don't get through to the ice. So if you're in deep snow and you know there's ice also, then getting uh, crampons, which are spikes that big, uh, getting crampons, which are probably like 150 US dollars, 200 probably Canadian dollars um, but there are four hikers that are 
that know they're going to be moving on ice and heavy snow. Uh, the next step up from that would be uh, snowshoes with, they have like a special spike thing that comes down so that you don't slip too much. But again, you can wipe out with those. So I just got to be careful to make sure you have your poles. Um, so like right now, I would, I would use spikes because it's only like that much snow. But I don't think there's too much ice underneath, but it still kind of sticks to the rocks and things. Picked up a coffee, and the uh, one of the places I always get my Tim Hortons coffee off the highway, they jumped their price to two dollars and fifty cents, and other places are two fifteen still. So when he said two fifteen on the when he said two fifty on the speaker, I'm like, it's got to be two fifteen. There's no way they jumped it up to two fifty, just like that, and they did. But I got my my coffee fix. I had my two coffees at home, but when I'm driving for a couple hours, it's nice to have another coffee. I've got about 41 minutes left. We're going to hit um, a couple places in Huntsville. Get a couple more food items. Add that to the video because that's always fun. And uh, maybe pick up a couple beers for tonight. Uh, I think I, I think I'm gonna do like. Guinness, because Paul did a couple of Guinness uh, when we were at the Tickle Toad a couple nights ago, and he did like the, the zero percent alcohol ones, and it tasted all right. But you know, I prefer to have the regular uh, Guinness, and I've been wanting to do a video in the future, going to you know Germany and doing German beers, and going to Ireland to do Ir Ireland beers. Uh, it would just make an amazing video, but again, really expensive. Got to save up for those ones. But uh, if you can only like have a premonition of how much money that video is going to make to justify the cost in time, flights, the hotel, food, like that whole thing. Uh, like I think it, it took me over a year to get the money back for when I took Paul down to Florida for the Bucky's video. It was a very expensive video and it took a very long time to recoup that money. Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd recoup it quicker, but it was a lot of fun. I don't regret that at all. It was a great thing that uh, the video now is making money. So uh, again, you, you you don't want to lose money on all your videos. You you want to, yeah, I, you know, this, I'm the sole breadwinner in our family right now. So, uh, it's important to, to make sure the videos you make uh, make income. It's very important. Which brings me to my next point. Thank you very much for watching my videos on this channel. Watching my videos on the other and on the KBD Productions TV channel. You guys watching both my videos on both these channels all the time. Leaving your comments and, and you know you guys know who you are. Who always leave comments. Hats off to you big time. And, and of course all my channel members and my uh, Patreon, uh, all, of you, all of you guys are super amazing and supportive of me and my, my content that I like to make for you. And Carol likes to help do those kind of content things. She, uh, when we took, Carol just divulged to me, divulged? Uh, that when she took rust, uh, moose in to get um, undercoated and, and rust proofed, and it was uh, Crown uh, Crown Spring. I forget what the name of the company is. Crown. Uh, some people mentioned. I hope you went to Crown. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I did go to Crown. I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't respond to your comment. I think I hearted your comment, but I'm responding to you now. We did go to Crown, and Carol said when she was driving down to get it done, and then driving home and, and doing some errands with the van, uh, she uh, said, "Oh, I want to go camping." And then when I told her I'm going camping today, she was even more excited for uh, the next time we go camping. So we hope to do a moose camp before Christmas. Hopefully maybe after Christmas, we might actually do a New Year's Eve camp somewhere. I'm not sure. It would either have to go to Arrowhead, um, Algonquin Park, somewhere in the southern Ontario or we might go into the states and uh, drive down to where there's no snow 
and maybe a little bit warmer so we don't freeze to death in the van. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have to find like a you know, campsite down in the States that has electrical and then we can plug in, then we'll have to worry about it, right? But uh, I look forward to those. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Sorry if, if these talking in the car videos are boring for you guys. I know some of you guys don't mind uh, these little update videos. I always try it for the guy standing on the highway. Well, he's off the highway, but he's scared me to be standing out here. I'm not sure why he's there, but uh, that was kind of a little spooky. I, like moved over a bit just in case he decided to cross the highway. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for all your support, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. I look forward to showing you this video uh, that I'm creating today for you. It's going to be awesome.